the adventures of Peter the Parrot and Marla the Macaw. Written by Jennifer Matt and illustrated by Nectarios Bonianis. Once upon a time, a pirate adopted two baby birds, Peter the Parrot and Marla the Macaw. He brought them all over South America and the Caribbean during his journeys. He is tired now and ready to retire. Hi, mateys. It's time for you to go. I have more riches than you will ever know. I'm a tired pirate now. Sailed the seven seas. I have gold, silver, diamonds, and even rubies. Edie and Marla, I will miss you dearly. But there's a world for you to see, and we can visit yearly. Petey, let's go away tonight and start on our flight. We'll go to far off places and discover some new faces. Marla, let's go off to the east. To give us some strength, I've prepared a little feast. I will miss the pirate, but at least we have each other. I would like to go to Egypt with you, my little brother. It will take a long time to reach our destination, but when we get there, it will be a celebration. Petey, look, off to the right. Let's stay on the balloon for the rest of our flight. We've been flying a long time, almost two weeks. Now we can relax and rest our tired beaks. Egypt is close, Marla. I think it's very near. I see a pyramid, but it's not very clear. I see it too, Petey, but it's not for many miles. When the pirate hears about our ride, he'll be full of smiles. Hi, Mr. Camel. I'm Marla. He is Pete. We have flown a long time, and we need something to eat. Where are you from? I've never met a parrot, but you're in luck because I have an extra carrot. Our master was a pirate, but now he has retired, and now we will visit all the places we've admired. I am a parrot and my sister's a macaw, and I know that you're a camel from a picture that I saw. You can come with me. I'll show you all the sights. People here all day, so we'll have to travel nights. Hey, Mr. Camel, what is up ahead? It looks like a lion, but I think it might be dead. No, Marla, it's called a sphinx, a dead lion, everybody thinks. But it's not dead, it's made of stone. Let's go inside. I'm glad I'm not alone. Look at those symbols all over the wall. They're kind of creepy, and they make my skin crawl. Hey, Mr. Campbell, what do they mean? They're kind of scary, the symbols that we've seen. Do not be afraid, Marla. This is how they wrote. There is a symbol for everything, even a bow. They're called hieroglyphics, the symbols that you see. Peter, over there, what could it be? It looks like an eye. Of that I am sure. Let's travel some more. I think I see some fur. Many years ago, when pharaohs ruled as kings, they took their pets with them, as well as their things. They wrapped them up as mummies with their master and used cotton strips that kind of looked like plaster. There is one more room I think you'd like to see. Come on this way, Marla and Petey. all these jewels, Marla. I can't believe my eyes. The gemstones sparkle like all the stars in the skies. Petey, can you imagine if the pirate saw all this? He would be sorry that he picked this place to miss. Now listen to me, parents. About this you can never tell. Humans would take the jewels for them to buy and sell. Only the animals know about the secret cave, which an ancient pharaoh used as his grave. Thank you, 
Mr. Camel for showing us around, especially for sharing the secret room that you found. Marla and I learned a lot. Thanks to you, we will always remember and we hope that you do too. Goodbye, parrots. I'm glad that we met. And don't you worry, I will never forget. Egypt was great, Marla. Now I am convinced. We have more to see and no place can be missed. While we're in Africa, a safari will be fun. I would like to watch the lions and tigers run.